guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another product from LA Girl. But before I go into that, I just want to quickly mention um, I did get my hair dyed. Um, it, I was supposed to go lighter and get highlights, but for some reason I ended up with like darker highlights and she toned it and it became even darker. So I don't know how I like it yet. I'm still getting used to it. But for now, I think it's alright. I might go back and get it later because it is summer. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that and get that out of the way. Also, I just want to quickly mention hello to my new subbies and my previous subbies. I am so ecstatic that you guys have been subscribing to my channel. It makes me super happy. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Anyways, now let's move on to the product I'm reviewing and doing a first impression demo on. It's going to be on the new LA Girl Pro BB Cream High Definition Beauty Balm. I am in the color medium. It comes in 1.0 fluid ounce. I got mine here in Canada at Funk and Frost. It's basically the only place that carries um, LA Girl here in my location. But I got it there for about $8 with tax. Um, I believe it retails even lower than that. Um, it's just because it's in Canada, so they kind of have to adjust the price. But anyways, I always like to read the claims on the website before I go on to the demo. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the website, it says that this is an all-in-one skin beautifier. This essential new addition to LA Girl HD Pro Series simplifies a basic skin and makeup regimen into a single tube. Indulge your skin with this powerful multitasker HD Pro BB Cream primes, moisturizes, and enhances skin tone. It also says that it has no parabens, it's fragrance-free, it also has or it also contains vitamin B3, C, and E. So basically, it also says it's supposed to make your skin look more youthful, smooth, it's supposed to prime it, um, moisturize, and basically even out your skin tone, meaning that say if you have like certain areas that are red, that it's supposed to even it out and kind of make your whole face look like one color. Give it more of an even look, I guess. Anyways, LA Girl has been on point lately, so I do have high expectations of this. BB cream. I have been obsessing over LA Girls lip products. So yeah, now I'm trying out a face product I haven't yet from their line. So I am definitely excited. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the demo. Okay, so let's open up the product. I'm gonna take the plastic off. So the packaging looks like this. It's just a squeeze tube. It has one point fluid ounce. Again, I'm in the color medium. And with most BB creams, I don't really like applying it with a beauty blender just because it tends to really soak up the product. So I'm going to be trying it two ways. I'm going to be using my fingers and I'll probably use my fingers on the left side and then for the right side, I'll be using a brush. So let's go ahead and apply it. So it's just a squeeze tube like that. I'm going to use my fingers first. The color is a little dark, actually. But it blends in nicely. It kind of has like a gel feel to it. This is with one layer on my left side, applying it with my fingers. Um, it's evened out my skin tone a little bit. I do feel like it looks a little dark compared to my neck, but my arms are pretty dark, so it might still work. I'll just have to blend it into my neck. Let's do this side now with a brush. I'm just going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. This is the F80, I believe. Yeah, and I'm just going to run it on my face like that. I can already tell that it has better coverage with a brush. So this is how it looks with one layer with a brush. It's evened out my skin tone, but you can definitely still see my freckles and anywhere that I'm red. So it's more on like a light coverage. So this side is the one I use my fingers on and this one is with a brush. I'm gonna see if it's buildable, so I am gonna apply a second layer. I 
I like to pat it in just because I feel like it gives more coverage that way. It is getting really, really hot, so as I'm applying this, I'm starting to sweat. Okay, so this is with the second layer done. And I'm going to do this side with the brush. Okay, so this is how it looks with two layers on, this side applying it with my hands, and this side with a brush. Um, I feel like it looks pretty good, it's evened out my skin tone, um, but it doesn't have much coverage. I did expect that, it is a BB cream, most BB creams don't have that much coverage, but um, yeah, I'm still waiting for it to set. It's still a little tacky, and I feel a little like shiny still, so... I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup on. I feel like it's set now. It's dried down. I feel like it's not as shiny anymore um, and it's not tacky anymore. I did set my T-zone with powder and I did add a little bit of bronzer and blush. The blush I put on is by LA Girl as well. I did a first impression demo and a review on that as well. I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. Okay, so first impression, one thing I really liked about it is that it doesn't accentuate like um, dry patches because I have a little bit around my nose and it doesn't do that it definitely has like a light to almost medium coverage it is buildable one thing I'm concerned about is I don't know how long it's gonna last because it is super humid and hot today also I do want to check how it looks on camera because it's supposed to be HD so hold on let me just grab my camera so looking at the picture it does not have a white cast and it looks pretty good for a like an HD BB cream so impressed with that like say if you're just going out and you're not expecting to take pictures and then you do this is a great BB cream to be wearing because it doesn't look bad in pictures so it is a bit later it's 3.04 in the afternoon um, but it's okay because I still have a lot of things to do I have a lot of errands to run so I'll definitely be able to test out this BB cream throughout the day to see how long it lasts if it lasts and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do my errands and then I'll check back in in just a bit. So I'm back and it is now 8.08 .08 in the evening. I've been gone for quite a few hours. I was outside doing some errands. I had to run my husband Derek to get his truck um, fixed. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm looking down here because my mirror is down here and I am completely greasy around this area. Hopefully the camera is picking it up, but I am definitely greasy. I'm sticky now as well. Um, it's starting to kind of uh, accentuate my pores around the nose area as well. But my blush is still on and a little bit of my contour. I feel like in a few hours this whole BB cream is just going to slide right off my face. But now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this BB cream. I'll go through each claim and basically tell you if I agree with the claim or not. First, does it moisturize? I do feel like it is very moisturizing compared to other BB creams. Does it even out the skin tone? At first, I do feel like it does even out the skin tone. But the more you wear it throughout the day, it starts to kind of disappear so your skin doesn't seem as even. Your pores start coming out because the product is starting to kind of disappear. Does it prime your face? I feel like it does an okay job priming it. I think you could put another, say, foundation on top and it would help, but I don't think you could replace a primer with it. Does it smooth out your face? I think it does a decent job. I don't think it, like fills in all your pores, but I think it's all right. So the final question is, as usual with my first impression demos and reviews, is, is this LA Girl Pro BB Cream High Definition Beauty Balm, is it a no or a go? I would have to say that this beauty balm, unfortunately, is a no for me. Just because I have tried other BB creams in the drugstore and also high-end that do work a lot better and last a lot longer on my face, especially if you have oily skin, I definitely recommend staying away from this. If you have combination skin, I still think for the summer this won't last too long on you because I have normal to combination skin and it's definitely sliding off my face. If you do have dry skin, I definitely recommend this just because it's still does a decent job of kind of evening out your skin tone and it does really moisturize and if you have dry skin I think this will last. I think I'll try it out again in winter time but as of right now in summertime I'm super sweaty and it is just literally sliding off my face. I really wanted to like it especially since I've been obsessing over LA Girl but unfortunately 
right now it's not working out for me one thing I did want to mention before I get going is that the HD claim is quite true it does look really nice in pictures so that's another thing I did like about this so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and thank you again to my new subbies and my previous subbies I can't believe how much support I've been getting lately and it is just blowing my mind away and again thank you and yes yeah, stay tuned for my upcoming videos I have like a beach slash poolside makeup tutorial I'm super excited because it's been a challenge finding different waterproof products it's been a while since I've done something like that also I do have like how to get like a summer bronzy look and also a summer lookbook coming up I am super excited for that because I have been doing some shopping and it's been addicting so I want to share some of the things that I've gotten throughout time at the same time I want to put pieces together that way you can see what kind of outfits you can make out of say like a plain white tee or like shorts and stuff like that so yeah stay tuned for that as well I'll stop rambling and I will see you again soon I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are mwah, mwah, mwah. bye